everyone, welcome to Journey's Life. Today we'll be talking about the top 7 things to do in Tokyo, Japan. Be sure to watch all the way to number 1 so you don't miss out on any of the most exciting activities to do whenever you're in Tokyo. Without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Number 7. The Shibuya Scramble Crossing The Shibuya Scramble Crossing is the busiest pedestrian crossing in the world. Imagine you join up to 3,000 people and making it over from one spot to the other side on a crosswalk. The most beautiful part of Shibuya Crossing is the part that comes with chaos. Shibuya is crazy chaotic but also organized at the same time. The people trying to cross aren't going in the same direction, so the pattern of flow is different and simultaneous. While joining the fray of people in the Shibuya Scramble Crossing is definitely thrilling, you can also take up another form of pleasure – sightseeing this awesome view from a distance. Take your time and explore the Shibuya Hikari building too. On top of it, you can have a fantastic view of the Shibuya Crossing. Otherwise, you can also head to the nearby Starbucks and ask for a way to get a better view of the crossing. These two places are frequently visited for the panoramic view of Shibuya Scramble Crossing, so you don't need to ask for additional permission before you'll be allowed to see it. Number 6. Dining and Shopping in Harajuku Away from the noise of Tokyo lies this calm and vibrant epitome of Japanese culture and fashion scenery. Harajuku is a district best known for its unique shopping streets and mind-blowing Japanese restaurants. Explore the best fashion wear through the famous Takeshita Street, the eclectic collection of diverse boutiques in Harajuku. In this same district is a myriad of street Japanese foods and snacks. From the matcha-flavored foods, cotton candies, and distinctive delicacies down to the aroma-filled atmosphere, the shopping spree for Japanese foods in Harajuku exists not during the day but through the night. But is that all there is to Harajuku? It's home to a cafe where you can hang out with your friend or partner and watch live Japanese music performances. During some periods, different festive practices change the aura of the district and make it more entertaining, enticing, and exhilarating. And it's a must-see place to see Japanese youth culture and atmosphere. Number 5. Visit the Ancient Temples of Asakusa and Meiji Shrine One part of history that keeps echoing when Japan is mentioned is its involvement in World War II. However, despite all the harm it suffered during these periods, it still has some of its ancestral temples preserved in how they were built. One of these temples is the Sensoji Temple in Asakusa District, the oldest Tokyo temple. Have a good time exploring this antique gem in the middle of Tokyo, known for its religious practices and the Japanese architectural beauty it amasses. In this same Asakusa district, look out for the Thunder Gate of Kamina Riman, built in 942 AD as a military embodiment. The Nakamise Shopping Street, which leads to the Sensoji Temple, is a watchout for tourists with various traditional Japanese artifacts and accessories on sale. It's one of the most popular shopping streets in Tokyo, and spending an afternoon in the street getting one or two additions for your home interior decorations will be enjoyable. While still in the lane of temples, the Meiji Shrine is around the corner, awaiting you to explore it. The Shinto Shrine was dedicated to Emperor Shoken, who caused the political revolution from the Shogunate to the major political system in 1868. Walk around this artistically built shrine and feel the past walking through you. Before leaving, take your time to visit the Meiji Jingu Gaian National Garden, which is also nearby for a calm atmosphere of relaxation after all your explorations. Number 4. Experience Akihabara's Electronic Wonderland Fourth on the list of what to do in Tokyo is to experience Akihabara's Electronic Wonderland exciting moments. 
Akihabara is a paradise for anime and tech lovers who want first-hand experience with cutting-edge electronics and the best of the otaku kingdom. Let's break this down. The Wonderland is divided into three. The first is the electrifying manga and anime mecha. There are loads of figurines and virtual reality devices to engage and even see the best of cosplaying. Next is the technological section, where the latest gadgets and models are shown before they're released into the mainstream market. You can discover robotics, VR gadgets, and several other technological resources waiting for you to purchase for your own experiments. The third is the hidden gem and community section, where you can visit the Kanda Moyojin or Akibara Ondonge Inari Shrine, go through the Tokyo Toy Museum and Ghibli Museum, or join gaming tournaments. The limit of fun and amazing aura of exciting activities is beyond human comprehension. All you need to do is to be free around the people there and follow any customs you are informed of during your stay. Number 3. Marvel at Tokyo's Skyline from Tokyo Skytree Once a tour around Tokyo without you having the chance to view the city from an aerial view? This is what the 634 meters of Tokyo Skytree offers. Here is even one of the tallest structures on Earth, accessible for tourists. At the peak, you can look at the great city of Tokyo, the distant neighborhoods the city captures, and the view of the mountains. You can see renowned landmarks like Tokyo Tower, Sensoji Temple, and the ancient Imperial Palace with their distinctive marvels here. It's best to visit here in the evening. The sunset and the sight of Mount Fuji are beautiful, coupled with the moving lights from cars and motions passing around. It's a lifetime experience. Number 2. Visit the Odaiba's Futuristic Attractions The name Futuristic Attractions comes to life with the impression that Odaiba is an artificial island in Tokyo Bay. Here you'll be met with an electrifying digital art museum. Toyota Megaweb, the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation of Mirakan, Fuji TV Headquarters, and the popular Gundam statue for anime lovers. The digital art museum creates immersive art installations and wraps them up in excellent digital representations that take visitors into the realities portrayed in the arts. Also, inside Odaiba, you can take Japan's tallest Ferris wheel, the Daikin Rancha. Toyota Company has a site here for tourists to check through its car-themed complex, showcasing new technologies and emerging production changes. Before leaving, ensure that you don't miss the massive 17-meter Geocosmos Club of Mirakan. It displays real-time Earth data, and the moments feel like you're in the middle of a detective movie while tracking a suspect with the best tracking device. Number 1. Relax in Ueno Park and Museums Tokyo has much to offer, but Ueno Park and Museums made it to this list to displace others, like visiting the Imperial Palace.